<laughs> to introduce our next Campton Bell Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Linda Zimmerman, the founder and former executive director of the Creative Arts Team and 27, excuse me, 2017 <laughs> winner of the Campton Bell Award. Linda. <laughs> to present Chris Fine with the Campton Bell Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> studying abroad on the NYU Summer Abroad Program in the mid-1970s. Kat was just beginning to develop our outreach programs. We had the opportunity to observe Chris's directorial work with both the Greenwich Young People's Theatre and Perspectives Theatre Company. Chris was one of the five people who started Perspectives in 1974 as a TIE and Community Theatre Program. It is noteworthy that both of these British companies continue to exist today. Chris's pioneering work in TIE directly <laughs> influenced Kat's formative artistic development. Well, fast forward 20 years to 1993. Both Kat and Chris had continued to build our artistic reputations in the field. And Kat had just received a 10-year challenge grant to establish the Paul A. Kaplan Center for Educational Drama. We enticed Chris to cross the pond, get married, and become our new artistic and educational <laughs> Chris brought his in-depth knowledge of Augusta Boal and Paul, Paulo Freire's philosophies and practices to NYU graduate students, as well as to CAPS program directors and actor teachers. He supported the creation and nurturing of programs addressing early childhood, literacy, bullying and violence prevention, HIV and AIDS work, and so many other <laughs> In addition to this artistic oversight, Chris designed Kaplan Center courses to address strategies for using drama in classrooms and communities. One of his first summer classes, taught by Chris and Helen White, was entitled Devising Theater with Young People. And while the course ended in three weeks, the interest from the high school and graduate students continued. And 24 years later, the Cat Youth Theater has become one of our hallmark programs, enabling young people from ages 12 to 21 to develop their theatrical voices around issues important to them. By the end of the 10-year challenge grant in 2003, Chris had guided the Kaplan Center in the development of more than 30 graduate courses for thousands of grad students and teachers. This was a remarkable achievement that propelled both Kat and specifically Chris to preeminent leadership in the growing field of applied theater. But in 2004, with a change in presidential leadership at NYU, Kat was faced with the enormous challenge of finding a new home. This was no easy task, but we found our perfect place at the City University of New York. <laughs> Senior University Dean John Mogulescu, who is with us tonight, gave us the opportunity to expand our outreach throughout public school classrooms as well as across the CUNY network of 24 campuses. When he asked of our five-year vision for CAT at CUNY, both Chris and I responded that we wanted our own graduate program which would combine the theory and practice of the work we were doing in a fully realized way. Within our first nine months at CUNY, Chris and John received <laughs> unprecedented New York State approval of three graduate certificate programs. And then in 2008, the CUNY School of Professional Studies launched the MA in Applied Theater, the first degree. <laughs> of its kind in the United States and Chris as its program director. In the 10 years of the MA program, more than 160 students have graduated and are now using applied theater strategies with local, national, and international communities. 
The MA program has also served as a direct employment pipeline to CAP and has helped maintain the artistic and educational integrity of our work. Michael Wilson, an early graduate of the CUNY MA program, commented in his nomination letter, Chris and the faculty he has assembled are not letting people come in and grab a set of tools for theater and education and then leave. Instead, part of how Chris helps people translate passion into practical realities is by challenging them to critically examine how good intentions can lead them to accidentally perpetuating inequities. To learn the tools of the trade from Chris is also to learn the ethics of using them. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Chris is a true humanitarian with a global perspective. He continues to push limits for both himself and everyone with whom he works. I have been fortunate to have Chris as a dear friend and colleague for the past 26 years. His visionary leadership continues to impact a generation of applied theater practitioners whose national and international outreach will serve as his ongoing legacy. Please join me in congratulating Chris Vine as the 29 recipient, 2019 recipient of the Campton Bell Lifetime Achievement. Sense of people in a play, but just 
the wonderful, wonderful artists, educators, administrators, students, and young people that I've been surrounded by for so many years. Um, it's been a joy, an absolute joy. And uh, in, in many ways, I, I, again, I reiterate, I, I feel that uh, I'm a bit of a charlatan being here. But I'm, I'm pleased that so many of you are here tonight because you have sustained, supported, and I guess lots of times made me look good. <laughs> and we all enjoy that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not only that, you, you have taught me so much. You have shared in successes, failures. You have joined me to rail against the iniquities of our times. You've despaired with me. You've fallen with me. You've risen again with me. We've uh, girded our loins for another 15 <laughs> rounds. Gosh, we're going back now, don't we? And we've celebrated and loved each other. And I think um, the theme of love has been touched on this evening a lot. Um, as many of you know, I'm a great devotee of Paulo Freire's work and wisdom. And he talks about change cannot happen without love. Yes. Martin said the same thing. Love will transcend hate. And I think in our world and, and our work, it is perhaps the, the greatest value that we can, we can bring. So thank you. Thank you all who have joined me on this, um, this journey. Let, let, let me do a little bit of participation. <laughs> by me, employed me, <laughs> supervised me, or otherwise come into a professional orbit with me, just raise your hand and wave, and uh, shout out something that you think is appropriate. <laughs> One, two, three, action! <laughs> um, there are far too many people in, in my professional life and personal life to mention, um, but I do, I wish I could read the whole roll of our honour, but you would be here for I don't know how long, uh, but I do want to single out four people, without whom I certainly would not be standing here. Uh, first of all, the late departed dear Professor Nancy Schwartzell. Who <laughs> came to me in great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nancy. <laughs> Chris, will you run a study abroad program for me? <laughs> and that was the beginning of my professional contact with New York City. Uh, then, of course, there's the wonderful Linda Zimmerman. <laughs> Without whom I would never have come to these shores. Um, and as she said earlier in her speech, it uh, also propelled me into um, another set of circumstances, which I'll mention in a moment. <laughs>
extraordinary educator and I think visionary who encouraged and supported me to build a whole degree program from the ground up. What a lifetime opportunity that was. And um, well, I said he was a visionary. I mean, the other way of looking at it is he's a complete madman. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, John, thank you so thing. much for that opportunity. Of course, again, I did not do that alone. Um, there was a whole group of wonderful people supporting that, including Linda. Uh, and most particularly, and this brings me to my fourth <laughs> shout out, um, a wonderful artist uh, who I've known now, what, what I don't, at least 30 years. Uh, number one partner in my work, I guess, throughout those years. And um, yes, in life as well. And her name is Helen White. Thank you so much, Kurt. 
Chris, congratulations again. Please join me in congratulating every award winner this evening. Yeah.